Today we are taking the Nami Klima Max and we are doing a full commute experience video. We are going from Midtown Manhattan and we're going to drop off a package in the Upper West Side. From there, we're going to take the Central Park Traverse, which is a high speed road to the east side, make our way down to the 59th Street Bridge that's eventually going to take us home to Queens where we live. So if you've ever been curious to see what it's like to navigate the city on a high performance scooter like the Nami Klima Max on a cold day, or you're interested in seeing the sights and sounds of New York at night, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. It's good to have you on board today. What's going on everyone? This is Ivan and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. If it's your first time joining us, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, it's good to have you back. Just like every full commute experience video, I want to go over a few things just to make sure that we are all on the same page, regardless if you're new or returning. Over here to the right, on my phone, you'll see that I have the Relive app running. That means that at the end of this video, I will have a recap of the ride, which means we're going to see the route that we took as well as some of the fun stats like distance, average speed, elevation change, etc. posted. Down below, you're going to see chapters. I understand that a video like this is a longer time commitment, so I do appreciate and respect your time. So hopefully that makes it easier for you to navigate the video, jump back and forth, revisit your favorite parts. And if you had to step away, then I hope it makes it easier for you to resume where we left off. And finally, since this is a full commute video, we will not be editing out any of the traffic stops or any of the mistakes. Uh, I want to give you as immersive of a ride as possible. So we're going to leave everything in with, of course, minimal editing because minimal editing is always required. <laughs> ah! So I hope you enjoy the ride that I have planned for you today. It should be a lot of fun. And I hope it's not as, uh, as stressful as the last couple of days have been. Real quick, before we get into it, uh, nothing on these types of videos are scripted, so there is nothing really planned or any bullet points that are going to come up. So it's more or less like a natural conversation between us. Um, I'll see you basically in the comment section and then you can let me know what you think there. And real quick, actually, on top of that, just a friendly reminder, I am affiliated with Fluid Free Rides for scooters, Beyond Riders for body armor, Insta360 for action cameras, and shred lights for PEV lighting. So if you want to support the channel at no additional cost to you, and sometimes at even at a discount, please use the affiliate links that I have in the bottom of the screen there. Let me just turn on my light here. Okay. My light is not turning on, but that's okay. Yeah, please use the affiliate links that I have below and check out the coupon codes. They're all there. Also, if there's something that you don't see within those and you want to try like some of the accessories that I have on the scooter, there are also uh, affiliate links for Amazon for some of the things that I use and those will be found in the video's description. The major four will be found also pinned in the top comment. Man, I, I 
don't like those horse things. Oh, God, there's like horse poop everywhere. Jeez. But, yeah, with all of that out the way, uh, we can focus a little bit more on the ride. My apologies if I sound a little extra tired. It is later than usual. Um, for those of you that haven't seen the recap of 2024 yet, I spoke about how uh, the major project that I was working on at work is done and I'm taking on more responsibility in a senior role at work and I was hoping that would free up more time for me to make content and <laughs> I was sorely mistaken. It did not free up more time. I'm actually working harder than ever and working longer hours than ever. So I'm a bit tired and the crazy thing about this ride is this video has to be processed, edited, and made ready by tomorrow morning. Um, I've been so tired that I've been making mistakes that I don't normally make. Like, to give you an example, the other day when I was riding to downtown Manhattan, I left the camera facing in the wrong direction. So it recorded my scarf the whole time. Um, and then the other day, I actually forgot to turn on both of my cameras, so I got nothing. And then after that, I forgot to charge my batteries, so I only got like maybe a quarter of a ride. So it's been a couple of days and I've messed up quite a bit, <laughs> but oh man, I'm finally off tomorrow and I can't wait to get some rest, but most likely I'm just going to sleep in a little bit and then I'm going to record next week's video so I'm not dying for for uh, content and other things that have really really that kind of affected the recording schedule is the weather hasn't been cooperative here in New York we've had almost two and a half three weeks almost a month of just snow ice rain and just stuff everywhere so it's not quite as easy to record as usual and I haven't really found a way to record in uh, wet conditions yet so well I did and I'll, I'll tell you guys a little bit about that later uh, I, I've been thinking of ways on how to record in the wet so that we get a change of pace as far as like scenery but also so I can kind of uh, open up the recording schedule a little bit and not be completely locked down because of the weather so that'll be fun but I don't know if you guys noticed uh, in the description of all the videos from 2024, I have it marked as season two, so I'm hoping that will make it easier for uh, new, I would say, new viewers to follow the content for this year. Uh, it's going to be basically anything 2024 will be season two, episode one through 52, or however many are made this year. And anything that was 2023 to uh, 2022, end of 2022 to 2023 is marked as season one. Um, I'm also curious to see if I can see any type of progression within my ability to make content. So, oh man, let's see if that gets easier. Let's get out of here. Oh, look, American Museum of Natural History. Is it? American Museum of Natural History? No. Um, which one is this? I think that is the American Museum of Natural History. Nice. 
Wait. Was that the same museum that was in um, uh, a night in the museum with uh, that Ben guy, the, co- the comedian? Um, my wife and I were watching it the other day on uh, on Disney Plus. We had like a Disney night, and it's it was something like night at the museum, night over in the museum, and it was the something about Mary guy. That was pretty. That was pretty cool. That that movie aged pretty well. The the graphics held up. Okay, we are already here. Nice. Much faster than anticipated. I hope that my buddy is ready to receive the package here. Ah. But like I was saying, I hope that the uh, seasons make it easier for uh, everyone to kind of follow along as the uh, videos are released in kind of like sequential order. And someone let me know if that was the American Museum Natural History and the, uh, no, it's not Ben Affleck, Ben, um, oh, God, it was in that movie with Robert De Niro, too. Still, Ben Stiller? Still, Affleck? Still, no, it's not Affleck. Batfleck is kind of Affleck. Well, you get the, you get what I'm trying to say. That was a cool movie. <sighs> it's actually really nice to, um, a byproduct of getting out much later at work is uh, the roads are nice and empty, so it's, it's a nice change of pace, actually. And what is this guy trying to do? Dude, what are you... This guy and his man, they, those those moped dudes really irritate the heck out of me. But it is what it is. Okay, so we're here at the Dunkin' Donuts. We're not actually going to the Dunkin' Donuts, but this was the landmark I was given. So I'm going to pause the video here, and then I'll resume after I drop off what needs to be dropped off and let's pause that pause okay all right so we luckily it was a pretty easy drop off and let's get back on the road uh don't hit finish let's resume okay so the road that we're on is going to be the central park traverse um this next uh, part of the the trip here. It's gonna be pretty dark in there, so I have the the lights down here. Um, People always ask what my lights are. Uh, These guys right here, those are the uh, Gemini Titan OLED 4000s. If you keep them at 50%, which I have at right now, it does 2000 lumens and this one does 2000 lumens, so it should be plenty for the uh, ride that's coming up. And we should be able to get some pretty good speeds over there. Whee! <laughs> and luckily it's also not that cold, so I have my gloves on setting to, I think it's only like, it's actually pretty warm. It's 39 degrees, like I don't even have my sweater wrapped around my neck, like, I mean my uh, scarf wrapped around my neck like I normally do, but it's uh. For me, this is warm. Or warmer. Are we gonna go, sir? Are we gonna go? Let's go. Yes. Let's get in front of everyone so that we can kind of blast through this uh, Central Park Traverse area. What the heck is this guy doing, man? Like, those are the people that give you a bad rap. Like, seriously. Like, you're, you're, 
in traffic going there. What? You know what? La la la. We'll leave it as is. But like I was saying earlier, these Central Park Traverses are um, kind of high-speed roads that help you navigate uh, the city. Because Central Park occupies a big chunk of the middle of New York. This will help you kind of get to and from the west side and the east side without having to go all the way up north and all the way up, uh, up south of the, of the uh, park. Close my visor there a bit more and I don't want anything flying into our flying into our eyes here there we go nice and we're off Whee -hee -hee. yeah so it's not like a uh, scenic Central Park tour that we're doing right now this is literally just us blasting through these high-speed roads that cut across. Just got to be careful of the cops here on the on the right. Da -da -da, hello, officers. Nothing, nothing. Usually they like to kind of hang out here on the right side, so it's okay. We are flying. Wee! <laughs> oh man, this is incredible. I'm so jealous of y'all that have this type of um, road that you normally are able to navigate. This is so, so much fun. <laughs> ah. Oh, look, another museum. Um, I think that's the Met, uh, the, uh, AKA the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art. Right there to the right. It's pretty cool, huh? I always forget that these are here. Uh, we cut through here last time when we were with the Super Squad. Uh, actually, we used those uh, traverses when we were with the Super Squad to get to the west side. There we go. The Met. Yeah, super cool. <laughs> Okay, now we got to kind of make our way to the west side, uh, sorry, the east side, so that we can head down to the 59th Street Bridge. Currently, we are on 80th Street. I wonder, maybe if I turn here. Ooh, what's this? Someone's house. That'd be, that'd be a cool house. Yep, see that easy. Oh. But like I was saying um, earlier in the video, uh, I, I may have a solution as far as um, being able to record in inclement weather. There's some type of a voice recorder that all the uh, moto vloggers that I watch use. It's it's like a I don't remember the name exactly. It's like H1N. Um, I'll, I'll put a photo of it here because um, everyone swears by it. Like the moto vloggers are able to record like really crisp, um, deep exhaust noises and they're able to record uh, moto vlogging with the same with the same microphone or the same uh, audio recorder so it's it's really cool ah, nice get around this guy and i i kind of want to use it because the the whole idea is you're able to actually when i stop here i'll flip the camera over the whole idea of that is to separate the audio from your video source. So if you look here right now, I'm bringing my face camera as close to the uh, third person camera as possible. There's a little module there on the um, right side or maybe the left side of the screen for y'all where you see my audio equipment kind of plugged into here on the right side. So that goes straight into my helmet. 
and all my audio is captured by the Insta360 X3. Now, the H1 will allow me to close up, actually, this part right here and put the door back on it, like this right here, so that it's water resistant again. And then the big difference is I will take this cable and then wire it into my jacket or into my bag. So hopefully, I'm going to try that out soon. The only thing that's really kind of um, held me back from actually doing it is it took me forever to dial in the, the audio settings and the video settings. Like even the night settings that you're looking at, um, like people do forget that I am also an, an amateur still at this. So it takes me a while to figure things out and I don't want to have like audio that's coming out of like uh, weird directions. So uh, fear of change, I guess you could say, is holding me back from making that change. Of course this guy stops here. You gonna go? This guy, this guy. But yeah, I'm I'm not sure. Um, also, those types of recorders, even the the more expensive one, I think it's like five hundred dollars. Uh, you still got to operate using like double or triple A batteries, and I'm like, guys, it's it's 2024. I think we can make things rechargeable, you know, like, please make things rechargeable. So, yeah, I guess, uh, well, if you have any experience using the, that audio H1N thing, um, let me know in the comments section uh, what you think about it, because it is something that I would like to switch to, because like I said, um, being able to record in inclement weather would be a game changer because I wouldn't be confined to just recording on days where the weather is nice because I'm worried about having water intrusion in the cameras. So let me know down below. That'd be pretty fun because everyone's always like oh you don't really ride in the rain or the wet do you seems like a scam I'm like no nah, I do I always ride the only condition I don't ride in is ice because ice means death and the rain you can at least avoid the metal grates you can avoid uh, wet leaves so fairly easy to to navigate that beep a lot of beeping so yeah my apologies if i'm rambling y'all this is <laughs> again this is this is what happens when i'm just exhausted why is it that these city bikers are always just flying and they're the most reckless. You know what? We'll just leave it at that. It is what it is. Yeah, everyone's gonna go, but I'm just gonna wait. There's only six seconds left. It's not a big deal. But now that we're almost at the bridge, we're at 65th Street and we got to get to 59th Street. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining me for this uh, full commute experience here in New York. I, I really do appreciate you all. 
and thank you for supporting this video now if you liked this video and you want to continue seeing more of it please consider giving it a thumbs up as a thumbs up really helps the channel it tells the almighty YouTube algorithm that you enjoyed it and that it should be shared with more people and it tells me the content creator that you like it and that you want to continue seeing more of this type of video so hit that like button if you have any questions about this ride or you want to chime in about the h1n thing let me know in the comment section down below or if you just want to say hi you know that i respond to all of my comments so let me know oh, what's going on here Popo, police police okay police why is a squad car well I'm telling you they're they're coming after these these crazy people here but on the right side <laughs> back to what i was saying you see i'm like so like add uh on the right side over here on the screen you're going to see my logo so make sure you click on that uh, it'll automatically subscribe you to the channel but be sure to turn on that bell notification so that i can notify you anytime a video comes out this video is going to be tight i haven't been this close to a deadline since i started the youtube channel so i hope i make that friday 8 a.m but usually it's not it's not this tight i'm just trying to get used to my new schedule at work and i'm just trying not to uh keel over <laughs> from from work fatigue but every friday 8 a.m we have e-scooter e-bike and e-skate content released every week so let me know and i'll see you guys on those videos so just make sure you turn on that bell notification it'll notify you but with that out the way we are back on this what the heck it's so dark i guess thank god for that uh 4,000 lumens of lighting, huh? Jeez. Wow. New York looks pretty nice when it's pitch black. And it's actually kind of cool riding in this uh, kind of darkness. I guess this is what it's like to um, ride in the rural areas. R rural? Rural. R rural. I've also lost the ability to uh, speak, so... <laughs> Oh, how are we going to make it to the end of this video? Rural. Roll. I'm, I'm not sure if it's the uh, the ski mask that I have on that's messing me up, but I, I assume that's what it's like to navigate those darker, less lit areas. Oh. Ah, look at this guy. Fixie guy is going like 30 miles an hour. Nice. Maybe I should break... Uh, break the wind for him here. No, that's okay. I'll just go around him. Whee! Yeah, this uh, this evening ride. I mean, that ain't, I guess that's the plus of uh, getting out of work later, getting out of the office after seven. This is this is nice. Like you don't run into as much congestion and. You get to kind of enjoy New York City a little bit more, so... This is turning out to be a faster ride than usual. Okay. Yups, right here. Okay. By the way, we're riding uh, completely on, on X mode with Turbo on, so... We're not holding back today. I've actually gotten uh, 
more used to the the X mode throttle now, so I can control it in just pure X mode now. Okay, I guess we'll cut through here on the right. Ooh, what scooter is that? That looks like a Segway. Okay, you gotta pop a little bit of a, a bunny hop and a wheelie. And then we make this left. I'm sure some of y'all can, uh, find your way back in, in these parts of New York now after watching a year and a half? A year, no, a year and a few months of my content. Yep, we are going to wander over. Da -da -da. Oh my god, my feet are killing me. My back is killing me. I hope it doesn't sound like I've just been complaining this whole video. I'm, just, I'm so sorry if, if I am. I need a massage. That's that's what that's what I need to set up on our next um on our next uh, wifey date, our next date with the wifey, and you can get like a couple's massage. This guy blocking the bike lane. Oops, metal plates. Here we go. Here we go. We start using the most disrespected bike lane portion in Queens here. Nice. I'm glad you guys can use this as as parking. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ah. Nice. I usually get um flack for being like Ivan, you're so anti like PEV. I mean, sorry, you're you're so pro PEV and anti driver. Like, I'm a, I'm a driver too, man. I still have my car, so I just don't. I don't ride like a. I don't drive like a punk, and I don't leave my car where it's not meant to be, you know. But you know, tis part of it. Tis part of it. As long as all is well in the house of Ivan. Huzzah. Huzzah. Ah. Oh. We're almost home. We're almost home. I hope I can take this turn at a... Bro, it's a red light! Nice job, cabbie. Nice job. Ah. Oh. And we take this turn down because we like these S curves. Woo! And as this commute comes to a close, thank you again for accompanying me on this ride. And if you made it to the end, thank you for watching the video all the way through. There's actually quite a bit of y'all that watch the videos all the way through and Maybe we should do that thing where um, some of the YouTubers will leave like a secret password at the end and just like, if you made it to the end of the video, say huzzah and we will know that we have all made it to the end of the video. Let me know if we should do that. I'm, I'm not quite sure actually. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I don't know how I feel about that, but yeah. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your support. I always do. And I think this is it. Oh, so we got the ladies walking in the bike path, even though there's a sidewalk. This is it, y'all. So once again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Okay. Peace out. Remember, always wear your riding gear, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye!